Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is video number 5 on ClickSense Section Access Series. Till now we learned that how to implement role level section access on single field. We also learned how to implement column level section access using omit function. Today we will implement role level section access on multiple field. To implement this, I have created sample data of country, product and number of units sold. We have six countries, China, France, Germany, India, UAE and UK and we have sales data of different products sold for these countries. At front end, I have created two tables. One will show you how many different combinations we have for country and product. For China, there are three products sold. For France, four. For Germany, four. India, four. UAE, three. And UK, two. So altogether we have 20 different combination of country and product. There is a pure table at the left side which is displaying number of units sold by country and product. Let's start. I have implemented section access but only given access to admin. First we try to implement row level reduction on country field. Say for admin we want to show data of only China. I will load the application and as expected admin can see only China data. The same way if I will add one more field here and say product and if I will give access of laptop this will give me combination of country and product that is China and laptop. So as expected admin can now see China and laptop. So that means number of laptop sold in China. Now I will add another product camera. So admin can see laptop and camera for country China. So the result we can see as expected but now what if I will replace China here with India. So our objective is admin should see laptop sold in China and camera sold in India. I will reload this application and we'll see at the front end what admin can see. Pause the video for 10 seconds and think is this the result we are expecting? The answer is no. What we are getting here is we are getting camera and laptop both sold in China the same way camera and laptop both sold in India. Why? Because this is the natural behavior of click. What click will do? Click will check China or India and product is laptop or camera. So what exactly we are looking here is we are looking for China and laptop or India and camera. But instead of that what we are getting here is China or India and laptop or camera. So by simply mentioning two different fields here and implementing the section access will not work. In that case we need to create a combination of field. How? I will show you here. We need here access, user id and country and product field together and I will give name as key section access. The same field I will create here. Now I will reload the application 
and we'll see what admin can see. This is the output we are exactly expecting. Admin can now see number of laptops sold in China and number of cameras sold in India. The same way we can implement France printer will reload the application and we'll see what admin can see admin can see now printer as well here we can see that we have only few countries and few products say my objective is admin should see all the products of India so how can I implement this one I will first find out how many products India is selling four products so I have to write this line here four times and then I will place camera laptop printer and TV will reload the application and we'll see admin can see all four products of India but what we have done is here is a static way. We manually wrote all four products here. But in real world, there might be hundreds of products which we cannot write manually. We need a dynamic way so that we can create this section access table dynamically. There could be other scenarios as well. We can have scenario like admin should say camera of all countries or say admin can see all countries all product so all this scenario should be handled dynamically to do that we need to create a link table between section access and our sales table before creating the link table I will explain you how many different scenarios could be possible and how to handle it I will show you this by an excel file this is our sales table and I have created a combination of country and product and named it as key data what we need here is we need a link table where we have this field but we also have section access field I will show you what we are going to have in key section access field and here we have our here we have our section access table so we have key section access field here we have access field here and user id field here so first of all say for admin we want to show China and laptop so we have to create one fill here so key section access from section access table will associated with link table with the same field name and key data from link table will associate with sales table with the same field name so for admin to get access of China and laptop, we have to create key section access field here. So let's first create link table. I will write here load distinct country. product as now I will give this name as key data and then the same field I will create again and I will give name as section access and we'll say resident sales table right now let me remove all these four and I will reload the application and we'll see that admin can see China and laptop only. 
we will see the data model and you can see that we have link table here which, which is associated with sales table with key data field the same way i can add another product here say for germany i will add camera so the result is as expected but now we might have another scenario say admin want to see all product of india as shown to you earlier we cannot manually write all the products here but instead of that let me write all here i will reload the application but at the front end we will not see anything for india so let me show you again by excel file so now our second scenario here is india all product for admin so how many products are there in india so what we need here is we need one more key section access something like that we already have created this one in a first go now we need something like that india all means india and all the products the same way we might get something like uk all so how to handle this we need to dynamically create this combination here how to do this let's go to the back end and here we will add another line we will say concatenate link table and the first line the first field will be the same but the second field instead of product we will say all now we will reload the application and you can see now admin can see all product from india so what is this exactly doing let's see link table so you can see from the data model that we have created india all which is now associated with all india products the same way we can do for other country as well so say i will write uk all i will reload the application and there are two products sold in uk admin can see both the product and in our data model if you preview the link table you can see uk all has got two products the same way we might have another scenario we might need all country printer for admin so to do that first of all we need to find out what are the combination so i will all printer here and here i will find out that the printer is sold in france then printer is sold in germany printer is sold in india printer is sold in uae so there are four countries where printer is sold 1 2 3 and 4 so the same way i have to create this combination as well let's implement in back end i will copy this and instead of country i will write all and here instead of all i will write product but i will add here all country printer i will load the data and we'll see that printer which is sold in france germany india and uae admin can see it 
and at the data model if I will see the preview of link table all printer which is value from key section access is now associated with four different values from key data field of link table. The same way we might have another scenario where admin can see all country all product. So to do that I have to implement this I will reload the application admin can see everything all combinations from this application at the back end we might not able to see everything from the preview of link table what exactly happened here is this pills now created something like this so in reality how many different combinations possible when we have two fields we have two raised to two combinations possible how here we have country and product first scenario is specific country and specific product we might have specific country and all product we might have all product and specific country and we might have all product and all country so, so there are four possible combinations which we have implemented in a back end we will see how many combinations are possible for three field section access, four field section access, five field section access that I will cover later on. Today my objective is to teach you how multi field section access works and what is the reason behind creating link table. Now as we have done all this stuff, let me implement this section access for different users. So say for user 11. We want to show all data of France and for user 12 printer from all countries and all product from India. I will reload this application as expected admin can see everything I have logged into another browser using ID and password of user 11 and user 11 can see now France all four products which is what we are expecting as per our script now I will log into another browser using credential of user 12 and user 12 should able to see all products from India and printer from all other countries. So this is how you can implement section access on two fields. Please consider that when you are handling two fields on a row level section access, there could be four different combination possible for your link table. We will learn how to implement section access on more than two fields. I mean three fields or four fields in the next video. Thank you. Have a great day.